setelah menelusuri serangkaian kisah tambak Banyuwangi dengan segala kendala yang dihadapi di zona merahnya dan bersama Delos, orang-orang terbaik di bidangnya membantu membangkitkan kembali tambak yang sempat tertidur. Inilah perspektif dari pemilik tambak udang, Andrew Wijaya. My name is Andrew and I'm 29 years old um, and I've been shrimp farming since the start of 2021. So that's about two years and four months. So my grandfather actually started shrimp farming in 1986 at Muncar Banyuwangi. Like many of his peers, he also believed in Patsu, which is like this Chinese way of counting luck based on your birthday. And unfortunately for us, according to that Chinese Patsu, he believed that none of his sons and his grandsons were fit to run a shrimp farming business. So as such, when he passed away in 2020, none of us in the family, no one knew how to run a shrimp farming business. Historically, shrimp farms in Munchar Banyuwangi have not performed well at all is because it's close proximity to industrial sites. So near Munchar, there are lots of factories. And due to that, the water quality is very poor. And I think what I learned, um, Munchar also has very bad bathymetry. So in 2021, when Bobby, Guntur, and Alex came to Surabaya and we met at this Italian restaurant, they offered something different to the usual farm management services by the feed producers. So. There are also scientific-based approach to shrimp farming where water parameters are collected daily to understand current farming conditions at the farm. So when Alex told me with enough data collected, Delos could predict and prevent future outbreaks using the regression model while also offering better management practices, trying to teach owners and farmers better management practices. I've been with Dallas uh, for about one year, three months. This is, I'm on my third cycle. I think what I observed in the past two cycles that this process could take a few cycles so enough data samples could be collected and the water index calibrated. However, when enough data in the shrimp farm is collected, Patterns of shrimp farming in a certain area can be identified and preventive measures can be taken when needed to minimize the risk of shrimp farming. Additionally, I feel that half of the shrimp farming battle is to find the right people. And Delos Health helped me in finding the best people to achieve our farm's maximum potential. Delos have encouraged us to build wastewater treatment facilities if you want to have sustainable shrimp farming that can be enjoyed with your grandchildren, your children, um, you should build a wastewater treatment. So besides from a sustainability standpoint, Delos has also allowed me to make a social impact in the local communities as well. By reopening the second block of my grandfather's farm, we were allowed to employ more people and not just employing them, by having Delos's people from all around Indonesia, technical experts, they were also allowed to be able to learn from the best in the industry in the Delos Managed Farm. Kisah Tambak Banyuwangi adalah contoh nyata di mana kondisi medan berat bukan menjadi alasan untuk menyerah. Meskipun sempat terbengkalai bersama Delos, Tambak Banyuwangi kembali bangkit dan berkembang. Dan yang terpenting, Tambak Banyuwangi kini memberikan dampak yang signifikan terhadap masyarakat sekitar. Terima kasih telah mengikuti perjalanan Tambak Banyuwangi dalam seri Kisah Tambak. Inilah episode terakhir dari seri Kisah Tambak Banyuwangi. Nantikan kisah inspiratif Tambak-Tambak Udang di Indonesia dalam Kisah Tambak episode selanjutnya.